Welcome to Always Dolls. This is Sarah and thanks for joining me today. Rumour has it American Girl will soon release a new day spa playset. It's packed with features like an outdoor retreat area with soaking tub, curtained pergola and deck chair. You also see a sleek foyer area with a service counter and shelves stocked with beauty products. Whilst a large set, the spa can fold up like the Grand Hotel for easy storage. Why wait when you can make your own fun now? In this video, we show you how to DIY a similar version so you can get busy pampering your dolls. We'd love it if you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Since this is a bigger project, let's get making! Here we have thick 10mm foam board. You could also use cardboard. We just recommend gluing multiple layers together for the same thickness and strength. The main structure has four walls, so cut two wide panels and two narrow ones. For the outdoor retreat area, take a large panel and draw a horizontal line through the middle. Paint above the line with a light blue colour for the sky. Cover the foam board underneath with sandstone textured paper. A link to this one will be in the description box. Across the centre is a hedge. To mimic this, we took an artificial hanging plant, plucked off the foliage, then cut the leaves into shorter segments, sorting them into groups by leaf size and shade of green. Working in small sections, apply a layer of hot glue, then carefully place your leaves. Arrange the larger dark green clusters at the bottom and medium mid-tone greens at the top. Fill any gaps with your smaller light green sprigs. Next, take your leftover plastic stems and hot glue to the upper right side of the wall. Add pink and white fake flowers along the stems for pretty cherry blossom branches. Take a narrow wall panel and cover one side with your sandstone paper. This will feature the AG Day Spa sign. Cut a rectangle of green cardstock and adhere towards the top. From specialty gold foil cardstock, cut a semicircle about the size of a tea saucer with pretty filigree branches. Inside the ring, adhere gold scrapbooking letters to spell the day spa name. We are ready to connect the walls. To keep it simple, we use paperboard hinges. Open flat a cereal box to find the established folds. Mark tabs on either side of the crease line that are the same width as your walls. For us, that's one centimetre. Cut out your strips of paperboard and you have a hinge. Glue one tab to the edge of the large foam board wall and the other to the edge of the smaller wall. Be sure to adhere the hinge with the fold facing up, making an inverted V shape. Your walls can stand up in an L shape or swing open to 180 degrees. Switching to your second large panel, cover the top 30 centimeters in marble contact paper. The lower section has the look of wainscoting. To achieve this, cover paperboard with a wood grain contact paper, then cut out four rectangles, leaving a one centimeter border top, bottom and sides and between each panel. Trim each rectangle to be slightly smaller than the opening. Before adhering to the panel, paint any foam board that can be seen brown. Cut and glue strips of 5mm foam board to the top and middle for cornice and dado rail detail. Paint these strips gold. In the centre, adhere more scrapbooking letters for the words Day Spa. Then add thin strips of gold foil cardstock for extra detail. On either side of the sign are pictures of display shelves. If you'd like yours to be functional, cut and cover 5mm foam board in your marble paper, then hot glue them to the wall, spacing the shelves 4cm from the corresponding side edge. As before, use paperboard hinges to join the foyer wall to the outdoor area. The fourth wall panel is the changing room door. Cover just the edges with marble contact paper. Using tracing paper will mimic a semi-transparent glass. Cut and affix a 46 by 20 cm sheet to the middle of the foam board with double sided adhesive. Frame the doors with thin strips of foam board and add a 2 cm wide piece to the top for cornice detail. Paint these strips gold to tie in with the spa colour scheme. Here we used a gold sharpie to change our green puffy letter stickers to gold. Adhere them to the door using a ruler to guide your placement so the letters are straight and evenly spaced. Once again, use paperboard hinges to join the door to the foyer wall. It helps to hold the walls tightly together with low tack tape while the glue dries. Great! Our day spa has both a luxurious and tranquil appeal. Now the structure is complete, let's move on to the furniture. For the outdoor tub, make a basic rectangular box. Take your base piece and attach the left and right side walls. Next, glue in the top and bottom pieces. 
On the frame piece, measure in 4cm from the top and 1cm from the remaining sides to draw an oval. Cut this part away. We cut and covered cardboard with white contact paper for the internal tub walls since they need to be thin and flexible around the corners. Hot glue the two long walls, then the two shorter walls. We deliberately have excess contact paper on these pieces to help hold it in position around the corner curves while the hot glue sets. Now we have the inner tub and outer box. Glue the two parts together. The next step is to make the faucet with handheld shower head. For this we are using simple materials such as paper straws, mini corks and toothpicks. The central pipe is a cardboard tube cut down to 5cm. Pierce a hole 1.5cm from the top, then widen it to fit a section of straw, making a T-shape. Add thin strips of computer paper for detail on the pipe. Into each mini cork, push four small pieces of toothpick to embellish the handles. Repeat this step on your second cork. Now cut two short lengths of straw and wrap the bottoms with thin strips of paper. Hot glue your cork to the top of the straw, then glue the cork to the T-bar. From the remaining cardboard tube, we cut a 4cm length for the spout. Affix the angled edge to the front of the main pipe. Now cut 5 rectangles of paperboard. Bend them at 2cm from each end. Clip from the corners to the crease to make notches. Stack and glue the layers together for strength, then adhere to the top of the main pipe. We now have a bracket to hold our shower head. Paint the faucet silver then glue small discs of coloured paper or fun foam to the handles to distinguish the cold and hot tap. For the shower head, start with an 8cm length of straw. Wrap it with a 6.5cm wide strip of paper, aligning the end of the straw with the edge of your paper strip. Take a 5cm wide strip of paper and roll it around the middle of the straw. Glue thin strips of paper at both ends as seen on screen. The shower head is a small glue stick cap with a button hot glued into the opening. Adhere the cap to the top of the straw. The hose is plastic tubing from a girl's bracelet making kit. Hot glue the tube into the end of the straw and to the main pipe. Paint your shower head silver to match the faucet. Then glue the tap to the centre of the bath ledge. To give the dolls privacy when soaking in the tub, the set features a curtained pergola. To make this, Cut a rectangle of 10mm foam board and cover both sides with your sandstone paper. Affix the wall to the back of the tub. Then hot glue a hook to the wall to hang your doll's robe. Next, cut and double stack strips of thick foam board for the pergola support beams. From 5mm foam board, cut 12 rectangles for the slats. Position the slats evenly apart, ensuring they sit flush with the edge of each support beam. To match the AG version, paint a light wood colour. Here we are using a British Paints peanut colour. Now cut four rectangles of white chiffon for the curtains. For a no-sew approach, fold over the salvage edge to double the thickness, then pleat and pin the fabric. Put a generous line of hot glue on the inside left and right sides of the support beams. Then carefully lay the chiffon into the glue, removing the pins as you go. To mount the pergola non-permanently to the outdoor wall, we made U-shaped brackets from scraps of foam board, then painted them the same light blue to blend in with the sky. Simply pop the back beams into their corresponding bracket, then slip the faux stone wall between the beams at the other end of the pergola. Okay, let's make the deck chair. Off screen, we cut 10mm foam board for the seat, legs and back support, then painted them brown. To the underside of the seat, attach one leg flush with the right edge. Glue the other leg set back 5cm from the left edge. Cut two more pieces of thick foam board for cushions. Cover them with fabric. We chose this pretty sage green floral. Glue on the longer cushion first. Then affix the back support piece 5cm from the opposite edge. Now glue the second cushion on an incline to the seat and back support. Perfect! Finally, our day spa needs a serving counter. For this, we are using a combination of 5mm and 10mm foam board. Cut and cover the shelf pieces with wood grain paper and the countertop with marble. First, glue your left side wall to the central wall. Then add the base and middle shelf. Follow with the right side wall. 
Affix the countertop, allowing an even overhang at the sides and some at the front. The Day Spa counter has an added display unit area. Again, cut and cover these pieces with your wood grain or marble contact paper. Flip over the front wall to attach the slimmer left and right side walls. Glue the wider walls behind to create a 90 degree corner. Position the first shelf flush with the top counter, the next 8cm below it and the third shelf 4cm from the floor. On the inside we need to insert the counter extension piece. Following this we can join the counter to the display unit. Glue a long 4cm wide strip of foam board or cardboard around the base of the unit for skirting. Finish the counter with a sign made from green cardstock and more gold scrapbooking letters. Check back soon to see how to make the smaller day spa accessories to fill the shelf. But for now, you can click the link top right to check out our DIY soap bar tutorial. Fantastic! Our AG Day Spa is open for business. Thanks for spending time with me today and be sure to come back soon for more miniature crafting fun.